Hi everyone. So today we're gonna talk about Googleology's backrooms. So have you heard about the backroom? So recently, backrooms is pretty popular. Uh, it's trending on YouTube or online. Basically, it's uh, it's an idea or, or story originated in 2019 on the website 4chan. And what is it about? Is basically it's a place outside of reality, and if you're not careful, you can no clip into it. So no clip is a video game terminology. Basically, uh, there's a glitch, and you can suddenly uh, go inside a, a place that you're not supposed to go in. And uh, the back rooms is basically an endless, supposedly endless, randomly generated office rooms. And once you land there, you're unlikely to ever leave. And of course, actually in Googleology, there's a uh, is ver it has its own version of the back rooms. And again, um, feel free to check out what the back room is yourself. Or watch the videos. It's uh, it's related to horror movie or horror games. Um, but of course, feel free to check it out, or maybe you have heard it already because it's pretty popular. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to talk about Google Googleology version of it, and this is related to the story Forever Endeavor, which is related to a big number called Bentley's number. And I know actually I did a video of this before, but I want to remake the video. So anyway, it's uh, the story is about a person named Mr. Bentley, and he's looking for a job, so he saw an ad which is about you know the job is to make 10 counters and after that he will be paid a million dollars so first of all it looks very very attractive you know a million dollars is a lot of money and all you have to do is just make 10 counters so counter is a device used to keep track of stuff used for counting so it looks something like this it's not a kitchen counter but a device used to count so basically all you have to do is make 10 counters. So how long do you think you can make 10 counters? Maybe a few minutes or maybe a few hours at most. Or even even if it take a few days, it was still very, very attractive, right? Because after a few days or less, you're going to get a million dollars. But of course, it is not as you think or not as simple as it is. So eventually, uh, of course, Mr. Bentley, he accepted the job. And eventually, he was trapped inside a locked room. And this is where it's supposed to be similar to the back rooms. And basically, inside that room, uh, of course, he has to make 10 counters. And he never ages or dies inside the room. So basically, the first wheel is just make... I mean, the first counter is only make up of one wheel. So counter um, is composed of... A different number of wheels so this is one example over here with 10 wheels so it's make up of a rod or some people call that a magic rod and you just insert the wheel in the rod and then you make a counter so the first counter is only consists of one wheel and the wheel of course can turn you know zero and then one you can turn it you know you can look it up what a counter looks like if you haven't seen one and you can keep track of numbers. You can turn it from 0 all the way to 9. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's the first counter. It only consists of one wheel. So it only take a few seconds to make the first one. And then he start the second one. And the second counter consists of 10 wheels. So it looks something like that. This is how you make the second counter. So basically, um, you have... To use the previous counter to keep track of your progress and as you can tell already the previous counter determines how many wheels are on the next counter so since you know the first counter has one wheel and then you turn it to keep track of how many wheels is going to be on the next one so zero and then one you keep turning and turning so eventually that's why the second counter has 10 wheels and then now i mean 10 wheels probably take at most a few minutes to make it so just in a few minutes, you already finished two counter. So you only have eight counters left and only a few minutes have passed. So still, Benny hasn't um, found out any problems yet. But as soon as he starts the third counter, he immediately regrets. So because the next one is 10 to the 10 wheels. 
this is I believe 10 billion views because the previous view will determine how many we use I mean the previous counter will determine how many views in the next one so this is the second counter so it has 10 digits so therefore the number of views okay so you first start with all views zero right and then once you build the first wheel it will turn this this number here will turn to one and then two three four five this is how you count count the number of wheels on the next counter so therefore the next one has 10 billion wheels so imagine how long it would take to do 10 billion wheels and for instance i think 1 billion seconds is i think 32 years something like that so 10 billion wheels is 320 years so even though even if you can make one wheel per second without rest or sleep or eat or whatever it will still take 320 years just to make this third counter with 10 billion wheels but again that's why you know um however whoever inside the room never ages and never dies so he doesn't have to worry about that um but then even let's say he i mean he i think he did in the story he finished the third wheel actually so maybe it took several hundred years or if he is quick he can do that in a hundred years or less and then now what about the fourth counter let's say you you're patient enough to do it for a few centuries the next one is 10 to the 10 to the 10 number of wheels because the third counter is used to count how many wheels in the fourth one so now imagine so as you can see the pattern already this is like the 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 previous view is the number of digits of the next one is of the next number and then the fifth view is 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the i mean 10 with four tens we use the sixth counter is 10 double five the seven is 10 double arrow six eighth is 10 double arrow seven ninth 10 double arrow eight and the last one the tenth counter is 10 double arrow nine wheels so more or less the total number of wheels is the sum of all of these which is approximately 10 to the double 10 double arrow nine wheels because these number are basically zero compared to the 10th counter so this is the total number of wheels i mean approximately that he has to build in order to complete his work and get a million dollars so now a million is pretty small number compared to this number or even to even to this number here and uh before he finish he cannot escape the room um so anyway this is the story of it so I know it's not exactly the same as back rooms, but still it's crazy enough. Or it actually, I, I, I myself found it more crazy because, well, anyway, it's related to Googleology related. And the sum of it is actually called Benny's number. So it's a very big number, way, way, way bigger than a Googleplex or Googleplexplex. It's even greater than the Poncre recurrence time. Um, but yeah. This is, uh, and then of course, let's talk about the physics of this. And basically, it according to Google Wiki, the room uh, he was trapped in loops in on itself on a higher dimension, uh, which possibly is located at the surface of a 4D sphere. And if that room has the same physics, then Benny would inevitably escape the room how well that's it's based on the theory of quantum mechanics so based on quantum mechanics there's a thing called quantum teleportation which is something extremely 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 unlikely to happen even for a very small material so let's say even an atom has a very small chance to teleport let alone a human body so for a human body to teleport somewhere else you know let's say a few kilometers away we have around this chance one in 10 to the 10 to the 29 or more or less you have to wait 10 to the 10 to the 29 years for that to happen for yourself to teleport just a few kilometers away from where you are this is an extremely extremely unlikely thing to happen however it's not zero <laughs> of course a lot of you know science people or regular people would say that's zero but in mathematics terms you know for us who study big numbers this is not zero i know one over 10 to the 10 to the 29 is not zero just like 10 to the 10 to the 29 is not infinity 
in Bendy, we uh, have more than enough time for this to occur, obviously, because, you know, these number um, are way, 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 way bigger than 10 to the 10 to the 29. So, um, so he eventually he will teleport outside of the room just by sitting there or whatever. Um, and that will happen way before he finishes 10 counters or even like eight or the seven counter. Um, and basically what this story is great, I think, is because this is actually one of the simplest or best way or examples of tetration using a relatively easy real life example i mean it's not not exactly real life but you know it's related to physics or at least it's a thought experiment that you can relate to titration because you know everyday life or even physics even quantum mechanics you seldom almost never come across titration um, most people would say you know the the most powerful function or growth rate is basically exponentiation. You know, nothing grows faster than that in the real world. But this is actually one of the few ways to, about tetration, give you the idea of tetration. Um, this is basically, you know, the number of digits, the number of the number, the number of digits of digits of digits. You know, that's basically, a, you know, a logarithmic scale or something like that. You know, not actually, but I mean, basically... <sighs> Um, yeah, that's how tetration works. So anyway, this is a funny, interesting story, um, kind of related to the back room, which is recently very popular. So anyway, would you do this job? 10 counters for $1 million? So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.